this is a quick update on the procedural planets. I'm working on an update that should bring it up to be able to work on 2018 finally. So the substance plugin is uh, still in beta, but uh, I'm changing the architecture of this uh, asset. So we should hopefully work with that one. And it should also uh, remove some of the bugs that I've been having with the uh, planets generating yellow textures. So I'm just going to give you a brief update now, just a quick one. Uh, so you see that something is happening at least. Uh, so. Uh, basically, I've got two pl uh, planets here in the scene, a uh, terrestrial and an alien planet. And uh, what I'm working on, apart from fixing the uh, the feature of um, 2018, uh, it's going to be supporting now uh, level of details. So both for the mesh and for the textures. So if you can see this planet here, uh, we can uh, go to the manager and select uh, to show the LOD and it'll show you what uh, resolution the mesh is and you can set how many levels of details it should be. And it's uh, based on the camera distance, so if the camera moves away, it reduces the uh, level of detail of the mesh. And uh, you can set that to configure, it's configurable, so you can drag these, either you drag it by these uh, handles here, or on these sliders here, and you can set how many triangles the mesh should be. From eight, which is the lowest, you'd probably never want to use that. Yeah, you can actually see that in action here, there. Uh, so you'd probably never <laughs> want that level, but uh, it's there anyway. And then all the way up to 32,000, which is uh, a really smooth looking planet if you get close. If I bring the camera in, this is the highest level of detail of the planet mesh. And then you can also uh, switch this if you don't want to use uh, the level of detail, you can just switch that one to static and then set whatever resolution you want on the mesh. Okay, and the second thing is also for the textures. I'm doing the same thing. So if you have this planet here and you scroll down to level of details for textures, you can set that one to static, for example, and then force all the textures to be uh, whatever resolution they should be. So if I force it down to something really low here, let's see. Here we go, 32 by 32, you can go even lower. 16 by 16, which is the lowest. There we go. And uh, if I bring the camera away, actually. So uh, this is not updating on the level of details yet. I'm still implementing that. But uh, if you want really, really small planets, uh, you could probably go for quite low texture sizes. Maybe 128 by 128. That would probably look fine if you're going to make planets that size. Or um, even uh, 256 by 256 possibly. And then you probably don't want to keep the level of detail of the mesh down to 32. You probably want a decent size still. So maybe 512. And what I'm changing here then is uh, so similar to how the mesh works. Uh, you can change this from either static to static separate, then you can force the texture sizes here. So if you want a high level of the composition, which is usually quite an important one for the resolution of the shorelines, the biomes, you don't really necessarily need that high because that's the detail of the surface itself. Uh, clouds is usually important uh, because if they're too low, it goes uh, unlucky. If you go too low on the clouds, they start to look a bit uh, uh, low detail here. As you can see. And, and also I should be bringing this up to support tw uh, 4096 textures as well, which is uh, one of the benefits when the, they're moving to the Substance plugin by Algorithmic instead. So static, static separate for the different uh, textures. Progressive, I'm uh, working on implementing this one and you can set the number of steps. So uh, when you spawn a planet, it'll uh, set uh, a resolution of a texture. And then you can have it progressively updating uh, asynchronously. So uh, as you, uh, as the planet will instantly appear, but then it'll uh, keep improving in quality over a few seconds. So rather than having a black planet or no planet at all, 
yeah, you can have it gradually increasing the texture quality and then you can also do that separate for all textures so you can have the, the composition maps and the biomes for example just increasing um, in quality and then finally also level of detail same as the mesh worked here you'll be able to set the, the resolution of the different uh, level of details either common for all of them or uh, as separate for a level of detail for for the composition biome clouds and cities map and uh, that will be based on the distance the same here as uh, this one so the distance from the camera will determine the quality of the textures and uh, finally just a quick comment i guess of the architectural change i'm, I'm moving away you, i used to have the manager queuing up and creating all the textures for all the different planets and uh, and then it was copying that texture and applying it to the uh, t uh, to the planet before moving on to the next one but uh, yeah, the, the command that was used was called graphics copy texture and that wasn't supported on all platforms so we created problems on the Mac for example and uh, also for some of the mobile issues and it was also just creating some random bugs that it wouldn't copy the texture and uh, it'll leave a planet looking white and I've had quite a few support calls on that one so yeah, plus that method isn't supported at all in the new uh, substance plugin because uh, you don't really know you can't query the API if its uh, texture is finished rendering or not so it could move on to the next so what I'm doing now instead uh, as you can see here I've had to add substance duplicates uh, which is uh, a massive array of, um, if you go into the biome here, for example, and the desert biome, or we can also do the composition maps here, for example. And you can see that I've got multiple instances here, uh, and basically you can just add the, and the number of instances that you need to the number of planets that you need to create in your game to be displayed simultaneously. So if you're just going to have one planet on the screen at all times, you only need one of these really. Uh, but the more you need simultaneously, uh, you need to duplicate these and add them to that array. And then uh, basically the manager will just keep track on which planet is allocated which texture and then it can update it and it shouldn't really cause any problems then with, uh, uh, with uh, te textures not rendering and, and it should hopefully work now in 2018 when I release this update. So. Alright, uh, that was just a quick note on what I'm working on and I'm hoping to have something out by next week. So uh, keep looking at the update notifications for um, from the Asset Store and uh, hopefully I should have this out shortly. Alright, thanks everyone.